I'm joined now by Tina McGuff, who suffered anorexia as a teenager, and Tom Quinn, who works for Beat, a leading eating disorder charity. And we're also asking you the question, would you let your teenage, your teenager, teenage daughter or son watch a movie about anorexia? Do let us know what you think by tweeting the hashtag LKYES or LK. No. Um, Tina, watching that clip, you would probably relate to that because your life just is dominated, isn't it? Counting calories, that's what life's all about. Yeah, when, when I went through this as a teenager, my whole world, numbers was my whole world. From morning, noon and night, all I did was count numbers. Unfortunately, in the most random places, through the most random things. And it, that depiction there was, was um, OK, they say a calorie Asperger's. I understand what she's saying, mm. trying to make a little bit of comedy value from it, but it's obviously a very serious matter. Yeah. And often you can't even sleep because you're thinking about numbers. You're worrying about them and my was stamps and, and things like that, stupid things that you can mm. even see. I thought vicariously I would be almost putting on weight. You know, it was ridiculous. What, just by licking stamps? Yeah, I was, I was so scared. Gosh, I was so scared. Of anything? Of I know, there anything. was lots of things for me that I, because I was so controlled, like I didn't have a calorie um, counting ability because we didn't have um, the internet. Right. So I used to go to the library and get out all these books on nutritional oh, values geez. and break down every single thing I ate. I spent almost 20 odd years never telling anybody what I'd been through mm. because I was so ashamed. I was also fearful of people's reactions, you know. I remember going out from the ward, for example, as a teenager with people with uh, mental health issues. Like, I was in a psychiatric ward, an adult one, and I would walk along with the rest of them. And I was heavily sedated, because um, I was, wasn't cognizant. I didn't know what was going on sometimes. And some of the reactions from people were really sad. Mm. They would look at me and my group with disdain and, you yes. know, and I felt awful. So. What it did do, it really made me um, mindful of people and never judging anyone. And now, when I go and talk in schools, I really tell young people, and, and if it's workplaces, you know, do, you cannot judge because it's terrifying from the inside. But also, when you think people perceive you that way, yeah. you then are scared to tell people because you think, oh my goodness, I remember how they looked at mm. me. So if I tell them, they're going to think, oh, my goodness, she's one of those people. But we're kind of at least talking about it now. Absolutely. I mean, Tom, what do you think about, about the film? Is this a good thing that's raising awareness? We should be talking about the issues more? Yes, and we certainly do need to be talking yeah. about the issues more. Uh, there's far too much stigma when it comes to, to eating disorders. And clearly what we see in this film is... Uh, eating, eating disorders are serious mental illnesses. Mm. The psychological distress sure. that all the characters mm. are experiencing is, is obvious. We spoke to Lily Cole as well, yeah. and clearly um, you know, she, her intention is, is purely positive. Mm. You know, that's what, all what they want to do. This is, this is what she said when she was in. It's actually the first um, feature film that's ever been done about eating disorders, and I feel so proud to be a part of it. And I was actually excited to be able to tell this story to open up further conversation for young women and men around the world. Now, we've had a massive reaction to this, as you would imagine. Sue is saying it's a mental issue, mental health issue. It's exactly what you were yeah. saying, not a food issue. Um, and someone, Donna is saying, my daughter has had anorexia, and she said if she watched to the bone, it would make her relapse. So that's kind of saying what you are too. But so many, overwhelmingly, people are saying, we want to talk about this. Yeah. It's important that we talk yeah. about this. And we should say it's not just little girls and, and young people and teenagers, and it, it affects Man. everybody yeah. of all ages. Actually, I asked permission from my mother today to, to mention this. I got an email from a mum after she read my book a year ago and she said it's the first night's sleep she'd had in a year because she, and it devastated me this email because she was, her daughter's been ill for a couple of years and she was expecting her to pass away sadly mm. and she was planning her own suicide to Your coincide mother? Her, this mother. Yeah. That's how devastating mother this illness is. Yeah. And I told her I was coming on today and she and I have started dialogue and I've connected her with some other parents, fathers especially, because they often feel a little bit neglected at yeah, times. Yeah. Um, and they're now talking, which is great. But thankfully, her mm. little girl now is, is doing well. Well, mm. doing well, I say. She's better than she was. But she won't watch the film. And I would never advocate that for someone who's going through it. Mm. Even me, I mm. watched it. And I found it incredibly sad because I, I can remember how dark and how sad it felt. Whereas I have other people saying to me, actually, it's not, it's not gritty enough. It's, my life is hell right now. Right. And yet, this is a kind of little...
plateau. But Martin Oxen said that it's a good starting point. I think mm. that it is important to recognise that it is a somewhat Hollywoodized version yeah. of reality. Of doesn't, it doesn't of yeah, course. Of course. present a true yeah. picture yeah, yeah, of reality. Yeah, yeah. But it makes very clear this isn't about dieting, it's not mm. about vanity. Mm. Actually, you know, these individuals are clearly really troubled and mm. I think that's a really important message to get out there that actually these are serious illnesses that um, that need support and actually the most important thing people can do is get help yeah. quickly, mm. get help. Mm. Um, the sooner you get help, the, the more likely is you'll make a, a full recovery.